Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another makeup series. I'm not sure what I'm calling this yet, but if you guys haven't seen the first video where I showed you kind of like my makeup collection in just smaller portions, in that video I asked you guys what um, what what was the next video that you guys wanted to see and tons of you said that you wanted to see my whole bronzer collection So I'm going to show you my whole bronzer collection. I do have quite a few um, Let me just show you this is where I keep my bronzers at the moment So it's just all these here and some that are in the back here and I have some cream bronzers so I'm just gonna go by each one and show you guys what I have which ones I like which ones I recommend etc so if you guys want to see this collection then just keep watching so the first bronzer I'm going to start with is definitely my favorite bronzer um, or I would say my top favorites I remember that I used this for maybe about two months straight without switching it up at least you know personally when I wasn't filming this is the Balm's Bahama Mama Bronzer, and I actually got this at my local Kohl's a while ago. Um, I'm really close to hitting pan. It's really, like, it has a really big dent in here. The reason why I love this bronzer so much, first of all, it's so creamy, and it blends on so easy. And I love the color. It's that perfect bronze shade. I like this one specifically to contour my cheekbones, again, because... I feel like it's just that perfect color to just really warm up the face and also just chisel out your cheekbones. So definitely it has to be one of my favorites. It is a little bit more on the pricey side. The balm tends to be pretty expensive, I feel like, but I think it's totally worth it and I really, really like it. So again, that is the Balm's Bahama Mama. Next I have this super old one. It's the NYC. Um, smooth skin bronzer and this is in the color sunny now if you know about bronzers you know about this this is like a pretty I feel like everybody's kind of like a staple bronzer because again it's that perfect shade I do feel like this one has a little bit more of a orange tint to it as you can see I've definitely hit pan I always go back to this one again because I just feel like it's the bronzer that never fails me I really really like it I definitely suggest it if you are looking for a good bronzer and you just don't know which one to go with go for this one again if you can see, it does have a little bit of oranginess to it, but it's not too much because it is pigmented, but it's not overly pigmented, if that makes sense. So yeah, this has to be another one of my favorites and again, super affordable. I'm going to mention these really quickly. These are the LA Girl Velvet Contour Sticks. I have two of them. I think these are actually the only colors that they have. Um, this one is in the color... Brazen. Now this one has a little bit more of a shimmer to it So this one would be really nice to apply it during the summertime to give yourself a very pretty shimmery bronze um, It does have a little bit of red tones to it, which are not my personal favorites But it's, but it's still a really pretty color and then the second one that I have is called suede and suede is a matte one and I feel like this one again has a little bit of red undertones so this is suede and this is, what is it, brazen. So you can see that this is matte and this has a little bit more shimmer to it. I want to talk about all my e.l.f. products because they are a two-in-one blush and bronzer, but I use them more as a bronzer than a blush. So really quickly, this is the Press Mineral Bronzer in Tan Coffee. And this one's really pretty and it's really pigmented because it is a pressed mineral bronze. It's going to be super creamy, very velvety, and it's going to blend onto the skin very nicely. This is the shade right here and I really like this one. Honestly, I forget that I have it just because it's so small and all my other bronzers are so big that it kind of gets lost in between all the bronzers. I really like it and I think it's only $3.00. It's very inexpensive. You guys know that e.l.f. is very inexpensive. So I really like this one. And again, it has the perfect undertones where you're not going to look too like dirty or you're not going to look muddy or anything like that. So I really like this one as well. Next here I have Fiji. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I think these were some of the last ones that they launched in this type of packaging. Fiji is a matte 
bronzer and a matte blush. I'm not a big fan of the blush. I just, I'm very picky with my blushes. I like peach corals, um, very like dusty pinks. And for me, this is a little too pink. So I don't think I've ever used the blush, but the bronzer is absolutely gorgeous. Again, it's a very nice color. It's so creamy and it blends on so nice onto the skin. The next one is called Turks and Caicos, and this one is definitely a lot darker. Um, the only thing that I don't like ab about this bronzer is that it does have a little bit of shimmer to it. So this is going to, I mean, it doesn't really show up on the skin. It blends out pretty nicely, but you can see like it has a little bit of a sheen to it, and it's just not my favorites. It it, it would actually make a really good eyeshadow. So that is the color right there. It's a very pretty dark bronzer. And then you get the blush, which is, I don't know, it's a very strange color. It's It looks like a beige on here, but when you actually apply it on the skin, it's more of a soft peachy pink with a little bit of shimmer to it. I actually really like this blush, but again, I just don't use it enough because I don't like the bronzer and I forget that the blush is in here. So that one is Turks and Caicos. The next one that I have here is Saint Lucia, Saint Lucia, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Um, this one is actually one of my favorite ones and I think this was the this was the first bronzer that I ever bought off of e.l.f. So this one again, it's a very pretty color, very warm, very nice. And I like the blush on this one because it does have a little bit of peach tones to it, but it has shimmer and I'm not a fan of shimmery blushes. I like my blushes matte. So that is the blush and that is the bronzer from St. Lucia, St. Lucia, whatever. And then the last one that I have is called... Oh, St. Lucia as well, but this one is actually a cream um, contour. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I don't think I've ever even wore this palette. I don't think I have. Um, I think I bought it just as an impulse buy, but I've never even tested it out. So those are the colors right there. That is the bronzer and then that is the blush. I'm not a fan of cream blushes. You guys know that. I don't like them at all. I wouldn't mind actually using this shade to contour with. I'll have to use it, and if you guys are interested in knowing, let me know. I will update you guys. But it looks it looks pretty promising, and it actually blends really nicely. So I uh, I honestly don't I don't know how it works. If you guys own this and you guys like it or don't like it, let me know in the comments down below. I need a break. Hmm. You, don't you guys love it when it has like little ice? Mm. Mm -hmm. Alright, so moving on. I have two bronzers from BH Cosmetics. Now let me say something really quick. I feel like BH Cosmetics doesn't get enough love or attention in the YouTube world. I think BH Cosmetics is one of the best companies out there as far as product packaging and pricing. I love their products, I love their prices, and their packaging is actually really, really cute. Um, but yeah, so I have two bronzers that I've had for a while, and this is one of my favorites. I love to use this one during the summer because it's more of a sheen. It's not a matte bronzer, but it's not shimmery at all. This one is called Siren, and it's one of their bombshell bronzers that look like this. And I actually just swirl my whole brush in there and I get the most gorgeous bronzing color ever. You could use that as a highlight, but for me it's just a little too dark. It wouldn't work. But that is um, Siren. Really pretty to use it on top of your bronzer as a blush. It looks so gorgeous. And then the other one that I have is called Starless. This one, I don't use it at all, so I might just need to put it on the side and hand it over to one of my friends or my sister because I really don't use it. Really pretty though, if you're into these types of bronzers where you can get a blush, a highlight, and then a little bit of a bronzer, it's really nice. The quality on these are very good. I have the Fit Me, um, what's this? It, this is actually a setting powder, and this is in 330 Toffee Caramel. 
whatever. I really like this one, but as you can see, it does look a little bit weird. It looks like mustardy, but it actually makes a really pretty bronzer. I specifically picked it up because I wanted to use it as a bronzer. It's this one right here, and it's matte, and it's very pigmented, and because it is a pressed powder, it blends so nicely onto the skin. I love this one. I have this one by a super, super, super cheap company. It's Clean Color Tanned Roar Matte Bronzer, and I actually hauled this in a haul that I did a while back when I bought some items off of shopmissay.com where they have all their jewelry for a dollar. So this is what it looks like. It's actually a little dark and it is really nice, but it's not as pigmented. You really have to like work to get some color. So it's nice. I mean, for a dollar, what can you expect, right? But it's really pretty. It's this one right here. Um, so it's not bad. Definitely not one of my favorites. I really don't use this guy that much. Um, another one that I have is bronze, and that's just what it's called. And this one is by the brand Model Co. I actually got this in one of my boxy charms a while ago. It's probably been about three or four months. But when I received this, I was like in love with it, and I still really do like it. But I think I got it during the summer, and during the summer I'm a little bit more tan. So I really liked how it looked. Now this one does have a little bit of shimmer to that. It does have a little bit of shimmer to it, if you guys can see that. Um, it is a little bit shimmery. It has like some sprinkles or like little gold dust in there, but it's so pretty. I love, love, love this one. This one is a limited edition product from Wet n Wild. Um, this is the Solar Powered Bronzer and this is a blush and glow trio. So this is your blush and then here you have your bronzers. I don't use this one too much because again it is limited edition and I obviously don't want to show it in your face that it's limited edition that you guys can't get it. So I don't use it as much. It is very pretty, but again, it does have a sheen to it. It's like a highlight bronzer. Next one would have to be my holy grail, my baby, my ride or die. Um, and this is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. And mine is in Dark Deep. I've had this for a while. I think I've had it for about two years and I still haven't hit pan. And you can see that it has like a little dent in here because I use it so much. And now I love this because it's very creamy. It blends very nicely. The only thing, I think it is a little too dark for my skin. Um, and if I don't use this in the right way, it can make me look orange. I can look like a freaking Oompa Loompa and I've had that happen before so I love this. I don't know what it is about it. I just really really like it. I think it's the color that I like but again if I use too much I can look a little bit orangey. Um, if you guys own any bronzers by MAC please let me know which ones are your favorite. Which ones you guys would recommend for my skin tone because I definitely want to go back and get me some more bronzers from MAC because they're just so um, another really good bronzer is the Too Faced Dark Chocolate Soleil. This is in deep slash tan. It's a little too dark and it does have a little bit of like red tones to it. I also have to be very careful when I wear this otherwise I can just look like a freaking Oompa Loompa. And this stuff is not cheap so I was super bummed out that I just I couldn't return it because I didn't have the receipt. And by the time that I could return it with my Ulta account whatever, it was past you know, their time frame, whatever it is. So I just kept it and I'm definitely going to use it because, I mean, you know, I bought it. But I just wish I would have gotten a different color. I have this Jordana powder bronzer that I bought a while ago because it looked really pretty. Unfortunately, this, it's it's not very good. Um, It is a pretty color. It's a really pretty, like, gold color. But it's just not what I like. So it's this one... It's that one right there. Sorry, not trying to flip you off. But it's that one right there. And it is more of a shimmery bronzer. And it's okay. I Not my favorite. I really don't use it all that much. I also have the Rimmel Natural Bronzer. It says to, it's a waterproof bronzing powder. I don't know about that. And this is in 
22 Sun Bronze, um, and this is the color right here. It's a very pretty color. I don't feel like it's as pigmented as I wish it was. I have this Contour Duo, and this is in medium. This is by the brand Nikki Garrett's. Um, I believe they are sold exclusively on Amazon. I actually really like this one, but again, because it's so tiny, I just, I forget that I have it. So this is a very nice, um, what do you call it? It's a matte shade. And actually the highlight on this is really pretty. It's a really pretty golden highlight. The Sony Kashuk Bronzer in Goddess is so pretty. It's actually an illuminating bronzer. So um, again, this one's going to be a little bit more, as you can see that it has more glow to it. This is the perfect bronzer for the summer. It is so, so pretty. A little bit goes a long way. I did the mistake once of applying too much and I was like, I wait. I also have another Sony Kashuk bronzer and this is in golden. It's kind of strange because the S is gold. So when you swirl your brush, it kind of gets this weird yellowy bronzy shade. I don't know. I don't like this one though. Um, I also have this one by Physicians Formula and this is a bronze booster in medium to dark and this one is very pretty but it does have so much red to it that it makes my skin look really strange um one of the recent ones that i picked up is from covergirl and it's their new ones it's a true blend bronzer and this one's actually really good i really 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 like this bronzer and then the last one that i have here is the milani baked bronzer and this is in Soleil. I actually really like this one. It's very pretty and it just gives your skin that JLo glow. It has a little bit of gold to it so it just, I don't know, it just makes your skin look so healthy and so glowy and luminous and bronzy. Okay guys, so that is my whole entire bronzer collection. I'm like bronzed all over my hand. Um, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know in the comment section down below what you guys want to see next. If you guys want to see blushes or lipsticks or mascaras. I think I've done foundation. Um, I have done a palette video before. Um, I don't know. You guys let me know what you guys want to see. And that is it. I love you guys so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.